What's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going over how to track thank you page conversions back into your LinkedIn ads account. So in your LinkedIn campaign manager, you can set up conversion tracking and then optimize your campaigns for those conversions. I'm going to show you how to do that today using Google Tag Manager. So the very first thing you need to do is make sure you have Google Tag Manager installed properly on your website. So when you create a Google Tag Manager account, as you can see I've done here for my website surfsideppc.com, what you're going to be prompted with is to install Google Tag Manager on your website. If you come to your admin tag through Tag Manager, what you're going to see over here is install Google Tag Manager. So we click right here and what you need to do is paste this code as high as possible underneath the opening head tag and this code immediately after the opening body tag. So let's first copy this piece of code. The way that I like to install this on a WordPress website is to use the head, footer, and post injections plugin. So you can download and install this plugin or directly from the back end of your WordPress website, go to your plugins page, go to add new and search for head, footer, and post injections. Then when you install and activate it through your settings, go to header and footer. And all you need to do is take your first piece of code and paste it right here. You're going to see head and footer. This will paste that first piece of code underneath your opening head tag. And then if we come back over here to Google Tag Manager, we copy the second piece of code come back to the back end of our WordPress website, paste that piece of code here, paste that piece of code here, select mobile, scroll to the bottom and click on save. Now the last thing you'll need to do is through your Google Tag Manager account, go to your workspace and submit your workspace. So once you submit and publish your workspace, then you will officially have Google Tag Manager installed on your WordPress website. I'm not gonna do that right now because I already have it installed. So. What we need to do next is we're gonna come over to our LinkedIn campaign manager. And when you open your campaign manager, you wanna go on the left-hand side and click on analyze. Then what you wanna do is click on conversion tracking. And now what we need to do is create a new conversion. So click on create conversion and choose online conversion. Now what you need to do first is name your conversion. So let's just say, thank you page tracking. Define the key conversion behavior you wanna track. So what did people actually do before they reach your thank you page? Did they book an appointment with you? Did they complete a sign up? Did they download something? Did they sign up for something? Did they start a free trial? You can select that here for some of the different leads categories that you have. If it's a sale or one of these other categories, you can select that as well. So maybe someone purchased something from you and you're, they're seeing an order confirmation page. Then choose purchase as your online conversion that you're creating. For this one, I'm just gonna put leads. So we're gonna have a new lead, thank you page tracking. Next, you could set the value of your conversion. So again, if you're selling something for $50, $100, then if you select purchase, then all you need to do is set the value of the conversion for whatever it is you're selling, however much it costs. If it's a lead category and you're just choose selecting every time someone is a new lead, a new sign up, then a lot of times I'll just set this value at one. So if we keep scrolling down here, select the time frame for when the conversion can be counted. So clicks and views, basically 30 days after an advertising click, seven days after an advertising view. You can expand this, go up to 90 days. You can expand this, go up to 30 or 90 days. And then you can actually give more credit to LinkedIn advertising campaigns because if somebody clicked your ad 45 days ago and then they end up converting after a month and a half, it may just be that they were looking for something to sign up for within the next 45 to 60 days. And they may have clicked your ad, they may have written it down, and then after 45, 60 days, they go and sign up. You might as well still get credit for that conversion. So you can always expand these if you want to, or you can make them less time if you want to. So a lot of times I'll expand them and make them more time. Now next is going to be the attribution model. I just keep this as last touch each campaign. So without getting into too much detail, you can do last touch from the last campaign. I just do last touch for each campaign that I'm running and then we'll click on next step. So now what you can do is apply this to specific campaigns that are already running. So if you're already running a campaign, you can select this lead and make sure you're actually tracking that campaign with the overall success of that conversion, how many conversions that campaign has driven, and then you can kind of learn what's working well for your campaign and continue to go with the targeting and the ads that are driving the most conversions for you. I'm not gonna do that right now, and you can always go back to any new campaigns or any existing campaigns after you set up your conversion and make sure you're optimizing your campaign for that conversion. So let's go to the next step. And now what we need to do is go to the sources portion and define our conversion tracking method. In this case, we're gonna use Tag Manager. And if we scroll down here, we're gonna be using Google Tag Manager. So the very first thing we need is our partner ID. So we're gonna take this right here. We're going to copy this code. 
this is my insight tag ID. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go back over to your Google tag manager account. You're going to click on add a new tag. You can name your tag, but what we're going to do is we're going to click on tag configuration first, and then you're going to click on discover more tag types in the community template gallery. So when you do that, what you want to search in the community template gallery is LinkedIn. So we come over here to search and we search LinkedIn and you're going to see LinkedIn conversion and LinkedIn insight tag 2.0. So you want to select LinkedIn insight tag 2.0 and then you want to make sure you add this tag to your existing tag types on this page right here. So if we come back and we click on the X again under tag type, once you've added that LinkedIn insight tag 2.0 from the community template gallery and you search, LinkedIn, then it will come up. So there is a LinkedIn insight. Now LinkedIn recommends using the LinkedIn insight tag 2.0. So that's the one that we're going to use. Then we're going to paste our partner ID here. We can name our tag. So we'll do LinkedIn insight tag 2.0. Okay. And then to install the insight tag on every page on your website, you need to trigger it. So let's trigger this on all pages. So basically make sure this insight tag is on every page on our website so we could track everything that's happening on our website back to our LinkedIn ads account. So we'll click on save. And what we could do right now is we can actually submit our workspace. So that's what we're going to do now is submit our workspace. You can add a descriptive name and enter a detailed description. So I'm just going to going to put, okay, so we installed Google tag manager and we added the LinkedIn insight tag. So now we can click on publish. So now our Google tag manager will definitely be installed on our website. If yours wasn't installed already, and we will also have the LinkedIn insight tag all across our website. So let's just wait till this is fully published. It should go pretty quick. Okay. And you can see the version changes. We have the LinkedIn insight tag 2.0 actually installed on our website. So now what we can do is come back to our LinkedIn campaign manager account right within where we're creating our new conversion. Our preferred methods with the insight tag is going to be a page load. And what you want to do is a page load conversion. You want to match a URL. And generally what I will do is contains and I will come over to the URL I want to track and just copy my domain name.com and then the, whatever the page URL is here. Now it doesn't have to be a thank you page. It could be any page you have. It could say confirmation, order confirmation. You could track really long URLs that have a ton of characters and numbers in them. But for right now, we're just going to choose this page right here, surfsidepbc.com slash thank you. Come over to LinkedIn campaign manager, match a URL that contains this URL here. That will match us perfectly. Anytime someone hits our thank you page after clicking on one of our LinkedIn ads, we'll be able to track that conversion back to our campaign. So now we can do is click on create. And once we've done that, we are all set and good to go. And then when you do create new can campaigns, you go to advertise, you create a new campaign. You can actually choose to make sure that that's the conversion that you're optimizing for within your campaign. So if you have any questions about tracking a conversion page, any type of conversion page on your website using Google Tag Manager back to your LinkedIn Campaign Manager account, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.